Hello, princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today I have the distinct pleasure of reviewing the brand new Scott Barnes Snatural 2 palette. I have it right here in my hands, along with his Max Out Mascara, which is relatively new and I've been meaning to look at, but no better time. They kind of go well together in that black and gold. We are going to look at it, do a, an interesting little comparison and try them on, look at it in a few different lightings and all that good stuff. So let's just go ahead and dig in. If you are a fan of Scott Barnes, then you of course know his Snatural One palette, which was very warm toned and much bigger. This has 12 shades, whereas Snatural One, the warm tone, tone palette, had 20 shades, whereas Snatural One was $84 because it was 20 shades. This Snatural two, 2 is 12 cool tone shades, and because it is 12 shades, the price is reduced to $48. Here it is in the pan, but we are going to look at its swatch, and I think the swatches of this baby are actually pretty important. Let me back away so you can kind of see the way this looks when it's not in any sort of hot lighting there. Like I said, $48 for 12 shades, and this uh, these shadows were formulated for their blendability, the lack of kickback. It does all of these things. I have really been excited about reviewing this palette because I love a good neutral palette, and neutral palettes these days are often warm, so it was really fun to get neutral but also cool. Um, I, so I'm not comparing it to Snatural One, which is a totally different animal, of course, but um, sometimes when you guys can get me before I review something, you can ask me a question, then I can actually answer it in the review. Veronica said, anything like those curator eyeshadows from Hourglass, do you remember these? So expensive. Yes, actually, the blendability is similar, and the shades, it, they have a similar vibe to them, except that the um, Hourglass had the anger vibe of people being so upset uh, by the price. Here's probably what Veronica was thinking, if I may put words in your mouth, Veronica. It's kind of that gold surrounding the shades. These are warm shades that I have here, of course, because they were so pricey, I didn't buy many more. But a lot of the shades that you can see on the Hourglass website do kind of seem similar, and to the feel, uh, when you touch them and put them on, they are very, very similar as well. The Hourglass pack a little bit more punch, whereas the Scott Barnes are a tad bit more subtle because they are meant to be built up. Um, I also want to show you the Mask Out Ma Max Out Mascara, which is $28, has a glossy 3D finish um, and a longer kind of wider brush. Now this uh, mascara is made in Italy, which is going to bring us to an interesting point in just a moment. As you see this kind of what I call, like to call a caterpillar wand, it is made uh, to, to add volume to your lashes, but the length of it also adds... Um, the length of it adds length as well. And I want to show you me using this. I thought that this mascara was going to be an afterthought, but when I say it was the perfect finishing touch, I do mean it. Now, a quick word before we go to the swatches um, about Scott Barnes. Let me just say that we have watched his brand really grow. And I have also watched his his real strengths come through. A season or two ago, when Scott Barnes was really releasing a lot, there was a lot of flack out there. People were upset about his pricing. People were upset that the eyeshadows were made in the People's Republic of China and not Italy. And people, there was a lot of complaints, not necessarily all fair, um, that were launched at the man and at the brand. And I have to say, it has been pretty amazing how he uh, as an artist and as a brand, how they have stepped up. There was a lot of sales, a lot of thinking that went into pricing, and this kind of um, transparency in marketing and in how the brand continued to develop is kudos to them for that and to Scott Barnes. He is definitely a brilliant artist. Um, I mean, J-Lo, enough said. Okay, so now I want to take a look at two things. First of all, I want to look at this palette, Snatural 2, on my arm first in Studio Light. So take a look at it here. Here it is in Studio Light, all 12 shades. The first row to the left going into the second row there, all the way to the right. Um, these beautiful shades that 
um, take a lot of building purposefully. They don't, they really just build up. You can just do a wash of color with these shades or you can deepen and darken them. They are lovely. I'm ruining it, but I think my enthusiasm is kind of giving it away already. Now, I am filming at night because there was so many delays on this palette, so I can't do my traditional taking you out in the warm California sunshine. It is still kind of warm out there, but no sunshine. So I took you into a room in my home with uh, the whitest, kind of brightest daylight that is not studio lighting so that it won't be hot or washed out. So take a look at these on my arm, same order, in a very kind of white, supposedly daylight look just to give you another perspective on the shades. The lid toppers in this palette, and we'll mention this during the demo, are very much topper shades, which I really appreciate. A kind of ethereal, glistening, gentle, kind of like fairy little twinkle. Very, very pretty without having just kind of saturating and covering uh, the makeup that you have already put on your eyes. They truly are toppers and the matte shades really build. Um, without getting muddy. These, these work together very, very well. Like I said, I am not hiding my enthusiasm very well and I don't want to. This is a lovely, lovely release. I want to come back now with nothing at all on my eyes so that you can watch me put it on. And like I said, don't tune out before we talk about this mascara. It is not an afterthought. Stay right there. Okay, I know I review makeup all the time, but I've been so excited to get to this palette. And it's been delayed. It was due last week, and then it was due earlier today. It keeps getting delayed. So I'm filming at night because I'm really excited to get into this. What a beautiful palette. I love a nice, cool palette. And I just don't know where to start. I think we'll start with this shade here called Flesh. If I don't, if I say it, I'll just, I'll say the name. And if I forget to say the name, I'll make sure I put it onto the screen. But this is called Flesh. And this is a very light flesh, but that works for me. And this uh, shade would depend upon your skin tone, of course. And I have with me a refer number one. You guys know that is my favorite. I'm going to go in with this grayish shade down here. It is called grayish, and the color is grayish. I don't even have to tap it out because I know from swatching it, tap it off, I should say, tap it out. Is this a, uh, some sort of martial arts fight? Um, because I know I don't have to tap it off because in the swatches I could see how gentle these shades were. And gentle does not mean that they're not powerful or that they're patchy. It just means that you can accurately build them and that helps with uh, taking a look from just kind of a gentle touch of kiss of color to a kind of... Um, powerful smoky look and these a lot of these matte shades really build and that is a very traditional grayish color and in fact I'm going to take here a refer number two going in order accidentally there with my refers and I'm going to take this grayish and just go under the eye with it too. What an interesting color this is. I want you to take a look at it on my eye. It is very gray and right here in the pot it is very kind of beigey so it really is a grayish what an interesting color. I'm going to keep this on me right now because I want to go into this monolith shade right here, which is definitely a more traditional kind of steely gray. And I want to, oh, I should tap it off, but I don't think I need to. I just kind of want to like go over that. Look at what a pretty look this is giving me. You could layer these and nothing is becoming kind of muddy. Everything is staying really distinct. Um, I can tell you right now, I was right to be excited about this palette. This is just lovely. Now, just before we stop, I'm going to go into Bambi right here, or just before we put on some of the shimmer, and just get this, this corner right here, just a little bit, just a little triangle in that corner, just because I want to try uh, so many of these shades. And I'll fix that up there. Wow, what a pretty palette. I want something for the inside uh, inner corner and I want something for the top. How about Audacious? Audacious is kind of a silvery shade just to put just in the center. And I like that some of these lid toppers are really that. They're lid toppers. Sometimes the lid toppers, and, they, and you know they all have their place, but in certain collections they are, they are a shade of their own. These are really kind of transparent but still very kind of ethereal. And this is a really pretty kind of grayish look, isn't it? Okay, I want to take a really small uh, 
refer number 23 and go into this color here called sizzle and I'm going to put sizzle just in the center just right here a little more because you got to sizzle a little more and up here and up here this is a winner guys what a pretty palette now I do need to put on some eyeliner but um you know what I'll do the eyeliner and then we'll come back and do the mascara together so we can kind of be in the right order here you know try to be organized stay right there Okay, before we put on the mascara, really look. I just put on a really kind of light uh, shade by Pat McGrath. You guys know that is my favorite because it's a really kind of cool toned brown eyeliner. So now we are going to add the Max Out. And I say Max because it's XXX. I don't know how you pronounce it. Max or Max XX? I don't know. Okay, and you've seen the wand already. I have curled my lashes with the Refer Eyelash Curler, which I'll link below. It's my real favorite now. And here we go. Let's put on this mascara. Which of you asked me to review this mascara weeks and weeks and weeks ago? And I said, okay, I gotta get around to doing that. And when this palette came out, oh wow. I interrupt myself. When this palette came, came out, I thought, I'm sorry. Excuse me, sir. I just put on false eyelashes or did I just use a new mascara? I was trying to say that when this palette came out, I thought it was a good reason or excuse to try this new mascara, but I frankly thought that I needed to try a new mascara like I needed a hole in the head. What? Okay, just with the max out, without. What? What? Are you guys? Okay, let's just again, with, without. Whoa, that's a good mascara. Let's do the other side. What the? I haven't done the bottom lashes either. So this is both lengthening and volumizing. Okay, in love. Wow. Oh, wow. And you know, like I was saying before I amid myself, um, I was just picking up this mascara because I was reviewing the palette and one of you lovely people, please remind me who it was, asked me to take a look at this mascara. And I, you know, I figured, yeah, this would be a good, a good reason to do it. What the? Let's get the lower one, sorry, as you wait while I... And I'm not even, I'm kind of putting it on clumsily. Like, what if I'm really taking my... T That's it. I'm in love. This is a fabulous collection. I have, I'm always honest with you guys. I have been iffy. I have been like, oh, it's good. Oh, this is pretty. Wow, but this is so me because this is very neutral, but cool. I don't mean cool like Fonzie, like, hey, cool. But like cool toned neutral, but it's... Oh my gosh, so every day and so going out at night. You could just smoke this out and you can add on the... Thank you, Scott Barnes. This is a really, really good collection. And I thought it would just be another good mascara. It's fantastic. What I will do in comments though, I will let you know, not in comments, but when I edit, I'll leave this on for a few hours. It's in the... I still have a lot of work to do tonight, so I'll be out for a while. I'll let you know if it smudges or anything, because that's obviously really important with the mascara, but I'm absolutely in love. What a wonderful collection. Please let me know if you're getting it. I know quite a few of you, Miss BB in comments said this is going to really be her one big purchase um, to add to her palette collection. How about you guys? A lot of people have been talking about this and anticipating it, and I know I've been waiting and putting up with shipping delays, and I'm very happy I did. This is absolutely lovely. Please tell me your thoughts and if you will be picking this up because I'm just dying to know. And please take a moment, please, to admire this mascara, especially in combination with the palette. I am very, very pleased. Leave your comments below. I need to know what you think. I always need to know. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I sure hope that you did. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel so that I can see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.